Hey everybody, this is Rich. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're getting started with putting up wallboard today. Some walls I'm going to be doing double sheetrock, so I bought a bunch of half inch sheetrock. I have probably about 20 pieces of sheetrock, and uh, two of the pieces I got were the mold resistant. Um, I could have probably done all of it in mold resistance since it's bathroom, but it's a pretty big bathroom and really not a huge chance of, of a lot of mold to, to come about. However, I did want to put um, some mold resistant sheetrock in the area right next to the shower. I, I will also do uh, in the mold resistant in the area just behind the shower itself on the opposite side uh, just to be safe. But the rest of the room, I'm using regular half-inch sheetrock. It's a little bit cheaper, and, you know, after you buy 20 sheets of it, because I am double sheetrocking for soundproofing, uh, it gets pretty expensive. So every little bit helps um, to get just the regular. I was going to go with 5 8 to, to have a, a higher thickness, um, but after putting the insulation up and seeing how good good that was in terms of sound deadening right then i felt like going with five eighths it's heavier and it's a it's obviously it's an expense as well i felt like half inch would be fine so two pieces of half inch i think will cover what i need and it'll make my life a lot easier because i do have areas that i was had existing half inch sheetrock and so i can match that up and then these areas here that don't necessarily need any sound deadening. I'm just using half in one layer of half inch, but in the water closet and in the wall that's uh, in partition with the bedroom, I'm going to be doing two layers of the wallboard. So let's go ahead and get started and let's knock out as much as we can. Cutting wallboards fairly straightforward. Um, it's not too hard. You just need a sharp razor blade and a couple of straight edges. A lot of times your razor blade will want to walk on you if, if you're trying to do it freehand. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and measure out the piece that you need. And I know I need 63 inches. So actually I want to use a pencil because Sharpie on wallboard is, um, doesn't, like to, uh, doesn't like to seal up. It's hard to, to get that to cover. So I want to do 63 inches. And my straight edge. Take your razor blade on the back side and just cut down or cut up one of the two. Okay. So I'm ready to put it up, uh, but before I do, I want to go ahead and put a little bit of construction adhesive on it just to keep it nice and tight um, and you don't get any movement or vibration. So it's just good to put a little bit. Of adhesive in spots. And I'm using a uh, one and a quarter uh, drywall screws to secure it. So I get a screw put into place just so that I've got it ready when I'm ready to put it up there. Fitting it into place. That's one. That should keep it from falling, but just want to be extra careful.
I've got one layer of the half inch sheetrock up against here and I've secured it with screws and um, construction adhesive. I'm getting ready to do the second layer um, and one thing I want to do is A, I want to stagger the joints so that my joints are not exactly the same. It requires a little bit more work. Basically I just need to cut one in half and I'm going to put that half on top then put a full sheet and then take the other piece the second piece from what I split on the bottom. Um, so I'll have two seams uh, in, on that second layer. But what I want to do um, for the first layer is I'm going to use some caulking. I, I'm not using the green glue. I'm just going to use regular caulking and seal this, this gap right here and then apply a couple of lines for uh, for some adhesive and maybe a little bit of an air gap in between. <clears throat> but then I'm using two inch screws rather than one and a quarter. So two inch screws into so that I can hit the studs uh, as well. So that'll give me about an inch into the stud. So that should be should be sufficient.
All right, there you go. So I'm all done with the sheet rocking and now it's on to uh, taping and mudding. So until next time, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, please hit the like button or uh, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. All right, thanks everybody.